Hey guys, welcome to Book Girls. This is um, the third week, and this week's topic was chosen by Mel at I forget what blog, but it is written in my post. Um, anyways, and this topic is bad boys. What do we think th think of them? What is an appealing bad boy? What isn't? Um, so what I'm going to talk about is bad boys that I like and bad boys that I don't. Like, what does not do it for me with bad boys? All right, so let me get started here. I'm gonna try not to make this too long, but you know me, I babble on and get all like sidetracked and whatever. All right, so I'm gonna switch back and forth. I'll do like a good guy and a bad guy. All right, so first, a good guy, a good bad guy. Um, I think Damon Black from the Lux series. In Obsidian, oh my goodness, he is like beyond impossible. He's the biggest jerk, but he redeems himself and you learn why he's a jerk. Like if you've read Shadows especially, um, you learn why he's a jerk to Katie. So he's not really a jerk, that's just like kind of his wall. And... Once he finally lets that wall down, he still has a snark and everything, but he is just really sweet to Katie. He, you can tell how much he really cares for her, and he's not really a bad boy. Um, then, a bad boy who did not work for me because he is just bad, like, in all honesty, to me. Will, from Nobody But Us. Oh, my goodness, don't even get me started. Okay. So, he's 18. She's 15, whatever. She has had, they've both had really bad lives. But so, obviously, you know that the plot is they run, they run away together. Um, that's obvious in the synopsis. But, like, he is, a jerk. his temper is just, like, beyond, like, she, like, says, like, one little thing, and he, like, freaks out and, like, pulls the car over, and, like, I forgot what it was. Like, she said that she didn't think she was pretty or something, because she had bruises on her face and stuff from her dad. Um, and so he, like, pulls the car over and, like, rips her out of the car, and he's, like, screaming in her face, like, to not say ever that she's, like, not beautiful or something. And, like, dude, so unnecessary. And, like, he just says mean things to her, and then he apologizes, but it's, like, no, you're just a jerk. You're just a bad boy. You're not redeemable. So, um, yeah, don't like him. The next bad boy, and he really is bad, but he changes. And it's not easy, and he's not always doing stuff right, but I still loved him anyways, um, is Pax from If You Stay by Courtney Cole. Oh, my goodness. In the beginning of the book, he is completely, completely a jerk. Um, he is doing drugs, sleeping with random, like, bar chicks. I mean, just, he really is bad. And then, um, he really wants to change, though. He's very, very broken inside, and it takes a lot. But, um, he does want to change, and he tries as hard as he can, um, he does keep on messing up, but, um, yeah, he's, he's not really a bad guy in the end, um, but he definitely starts off as quite the bad boy, and, um, but you can't help but love him. He just really is awesome. Now, on to another one that I did not like, and, oh, boy, I can just tell already I'm probably going to get, like, tons of hate comments on this one is Jude from Crash by Nicole Williams. So many people love him. Absolutely love him. I can't. His temper just flies off the handle. He, I wanted to love him. I wanted him to be a good guy underneath. And I do believe he is, but until he gets that temper of his in check, I don't think that he should be romanticized, and I don't think that it should be okay to show that she's like, oh, you know, 
he flies off the handle and freaks out, but that's okay. He'll change. Um, dude, he hasn't changed in the first book. I don't know about the second book. I haven't read it yet. I have it, and I'm going to read it. I want to read it. I love the book, but I don't like him. I just don't. He has temper issues, and I just don't think that's okay. Um, so anyways, now moving back on to a bad boy that is not a bad boy that I loved, loved, absolutely loved, Noah from Pushing the Limits. Oh my god, guys, the love I have for him. That book was just amazing. If you haven't read it yet, you really need to. Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry. Noah is just amazing. He's another one of those broken bad boys those are the ones I love just like the broken bad boys who aren't really bad it's just like their cover they act like a jerk to like hide in their little shell um and yeah they do stuff wrong um doesn't everyone <laughs> um but they're not really really bad um so yeah that is another bad boy that I can't help but love and then <laughs> Why don't you go play your drums or something, baby? Um, then, next is um, a bad boy that I just, I can't like. And a lot of people, once again, love him. And I just don't. Seth from Jennifer L. Armentrout's um, Covenant series. God, he is just evil. Evil people. I don't understand how you can love him. Aiden all the way. Team Aiden. He is sweet and nice and awesome. Seth is an evil, evil, want to destroy everyone, god killer. So, I just don't get it. I mean, dude, yeah, he's hot and whatever, supposedly, you know, but no. He's evil. Evil. All right. Bad boy, who I love, Dante from The Collector. All right. He, he is a complete jerk to begin with. He really is. And even, you know, in the end, I wouldn't say, you know, I would say that he's really good. He has to be really good in the end. Um, I can't really say anything else because you, you just have to read it. But um, it comes out April in April. But, um... Yeah, he he is a bad boy, but I mean, dude, he works for the devil. So, um, but he really, oh my goodness, I love how he changes through the book. And he's so funny and awesome and full of himself. He's a conceited, arrogant jerk, but he's good. He's like a good bad boy. I don't know. All right. Another one who I just, I can't... Uh, Cole from the Everney series, and I know a lot of people love him too, but dude, he's a manipulative tool. I get it. I get that he really does care for Nikki somehow, some way, in his evil head of his, but he is a manipulative tool. I just, I can't. I can't do it. All you Cole lovers, I apologize. I just, I can't. Um... And now my last two bad boys that I love are both from I'm I'm mix I'm combining them because they're the same author. <clears throat> um Cassandra Clare's Infernal Devices and the Mortal Instrument series. I love Jace. Um yeah, he's a jerk, but that boy's got some issues and he really is not bad. He just has some major major daddy issues and <laughs> um, but I, I absolutely love him and I love how he uses his um, snark and his rude humor as like a weapon and uses it to hide behind too um, and then Will from the Infernal Devices oh how he's so broken but he's really not bad um, that is like and I don't really, there's very few love triangles I really like. And the Will, Gem, Tessa thing breaks my heart. I am, dude, when Clockwork Princess comes out, 
I don't even know. I'm scared to read it, but obviously excited to read it too. I have it pre-ordered, but oh my God. So Will, another broken bad boy who's not really bad, who I love. And that is it. Should I end on a bad boy that is like bad that I, I just think is too bad? Morpheus from Splintered. I just don't like him. And that's another manipulative one. Um, Team Jeb all the way. I think that Morpheus um, was just manipulative and I couldn't make myself like him. Um, it's not even that he's too bad. I just didn't like him. Um, you know, he's not bad like with like Will and Jude who are like temper issues and like mentally abusive. But um, yeah, so I'm going to wrap this up because I'm sure it's already ridiculously long. What do you think about bad boys? What is too bad for you? What what makes you like a bad boy? Um, oh my goodness, my daughter has naked Barbies. <laughs> Two naked boy Barbies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, all right, honey, go put them away, please. All right, I'm ending this. Bye, guys. <laughs>